it's good to have you here. I'm going to introduce the uh, Corvette Z06, and we're going to be wrapping a print today. Okay, so what we're going to do back here is we're going to have both guys over here. We're going to not only are we going to do the door handle area, but we're going to do the uh, we're going to do the gas tank. We're just going to go ahead and impart a little bit of heat into this. I'm just going to make sure that we define it real well. that much. The pressure point is the actual door itself. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll just get this up in here. Maybe have it grip the squeegee. Okay, light knife. Just the weight of the knife only. Okay, so what we're gonna do on some of these corners right here is rather than roll this over right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get impart a little heat to it. So just a little bit. So see how that's wanting to lift up? That's not gonna be a real clean application. So we wanna make sure that we work it to where it's a nice clean drop. Same thing with the top part. Real hard to see, but. Let it cool just a little bit. And we'll go ahead and push down on the corner with our thumb, down on the corner. Maybe grab a squeegee for the rest. Go ahead and heat everything in, then run back with our finger, with our finger, making sure that that's all down. Okay, so my next and final one is this expand this body uh, rocker panel where the rocker panel actually attaches. I'm going to define this edge real good. Okay, now what we're looking at when we're standing, looking at the car the most of the visible surfaces are down this direction. So mentally, when I put my blade in here, I don't want to cut any of the paint, but I want to leave more on the bottom body component because of looking down at it. You guys follow me? So when you you don't want to have a, you don't want to be revealing any paint if you're going to trim an expansion joint like this. So if you watch and it's almost imperceptible, it's almost kind of like it's a figment of my imagination that I'm actually holding the blade in a kind of an angle. Almost may not be visible. Maybe the camera can see it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start right here on the outer side and I'm going to have a little bit of an angle. So you can probably see there's a little bit of an angle to my knife. If I go too far, I'm going to cut the car. Following the contour the whole time. So there's just a slight bit of an angle. And I'm gonna cross in front of the camera for a moment. So when we go back down, the camera might be able to see it, but I don't think that we will be able to. Is we should have got coverage. So there we are. We've done a we've done a partial application on the Corvette here. Uh, again, the, uh, to recap what we've used here is we've printed with the Color Painter M series at 540 by 540 at 345 square feet an hour. Solvent based inks. Uh, the material was Avery Denison's Easy RS with a luster one mil laminate on top. So ultimately, the luster laminate on the digital print matched the Supreme wrapping film for the rest of the car. So uh, as you can see is the great color, great curbside appeal, and a partial. Uh, give, you know, you get a lot done with a partial. So uh, welcome to the world of Seiko and thank you for spending time with us. <music>